All right, so we've been back from our trip for uh, a week or two now, and um, I want to go over the numbers with you. So we did end up going 5,800 and I think six miles. It was right over 5,800 miles total round trip leaving from South Carolina, going through the northern uh, parts through Kansas into Colorado and down to Arizona, and then coming back through Texas, stopping in Florida and coming back that way. Uh, it was about 5,800 miles. We used 500 and uh, 38 gallons of gas, but it ended up costing us right at 16, uh, between 16 and 1700 dollars. Um, the lowest price during our trip that we saw of gas was two dollars and 85 cents a gallon, and the highest that I had to fill up was three dollars and 85 cents a gallon. The highest price that I saw was 476 at the time of that uh, last video. Um, so we are back here in South Carolina. And we're actually in this video going to leave to go on a surprise camping trip. Um, my dad and aunt and uncle left today to go to Pigeon Forge in the mountains here in the, close by in Tennessee. It's just a few hours away. They just left actually, and um, they don't know we are coming. We booked uh, two nights to go stay up there for two nights. Um, it's probably our last camping trip for a little bit. I have to have some hand surgery. Um, so I'll lose a little bit of mobility, which will make it a little bit harder. But we're going to leave today when uh, Maggie and the kids get home. And we're going to go surprise them this evening. And um, so that's where this video is going to go. So stick with us and uh, stay tuned. We'll see how this goes. So real quick, I wanted to show you this. For anybody who's towing with an older truck, let me turn that air down so you can hear me okay. If you have an older truck, this is an 05 Silverado. There's no backup camera. And a lifesaver to me has been this little backup camera that um, I'm gonna show you. I bought off of Amazon. And it has a, uh, it, this isn't a wireless one. I had a wireless one for some time and it just it did not ever work properly. It wasn't extremely reliable. This one is a just a wired back. It's, you know, it's pretty clear for the, for the image, especially if you're using it for trailering and um, it works great. I think it's only like 35 bucks, so I would highly recommend this. It will save you a lot of time for sure. So before I get everything packed up, there was one other quick thing that I was going to mention to kind of recap our long trip that we did. Um, these are the tires that came on the Wolf Pup. I know this topic comes up all the time on camper forms. These are the Castle Rock um, 226 um, speed rating of 75 miles an hour. Um, you keep them inflated to 80 PSI cold um, and that is how they're supposed to run. We have 6,200 miles on these tires with our long trip and then our beach trip before that. These tires are not the highest quality tires, no. Are you going to, you know, as soon as you pull it off the lot, do you need to replace them? If you have the money to, sure. Um, if not, uh, it's don't freak out about it. Can you have a failure with these? Yes. Can you have a failure with a good year? Yes. There's any tires you can have failures with. Are these more likely? Maybe. But most of the tires that I'm seeing that are exploding on Facebook, people post all their 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 opinions. Um, they're they're older. They're two, three, four years old. And yes, two or three years old. If it looks like it has a good tread, and may not seem like it's that old. But on a camper, when it's sitting still, especially if you have it out in the sun, those tires are going to go bad really fast. I don't plan on keeping these tires long. They probably will get upgraded to Goodyear. But looking look at your tire date. These were made towards the end of 2020 um, the tire date will be stamped on the side um, I wouldn't run them longer than a year and a half and that is keeping them out of the Sun and like actually using your camper to move to keep the keep the tire actually in, in use um, so that is just something I wanted to point out I know a lot of people have all kinds of opinions and there's mine um, these will be getting replaced and if it does blow out just carry a bottle jack know how to change your tire and um, have full coverage insurance so if it rips the side of the camper off you get a new camper it's nothing to stress out about when you have the funds upgrade the tires they still may blow out so that's why you have insurance but these yes for all the people who have commented and asked these are the tires that came on this camper um, we will probably do two or three more trips 
um, to get us through the, towards the end of this year, which would put us in that year and a half range of when they were made, and then they, we will probably upgrade these tires. <clears throat> but they really did fine for us on our trip. Uh, I do expect the Goodyear's to perform as well. Um, but that is the biggest thing to look at is the age of the tires, not the tread depth, uh, not anything like that. If it blows up other than that, it's because of an impact brake hitting a pothole or just bad manufacturing. But over time, all tires go bad. And these tires do tend to go bad a little bit quicker or camper tires in general. So that's one quick thing. We'll get loaded up and then we're gonna get on the road. So fast forward a few days, we're actually home now. We just got home and we had a great trip. When we first got there, we, and we didn't have a lot of time to film throughout our, our weekend there. But when we first got there, it was raining when we got there. So we didn't get a lot of the setup footage, but the, tr the ride up was really nice, uh, really easy drive. And um, we weren't able to surprise when we pulled in because they were at dinner. When they came home, they saw us there and were super excited. So we got to spend time with them and uh, went to dinner. Um, the campground is really nice. We just mainly hung out in the campground. And that's why I wanted to share you, show you some, uh, some of the footage that we took during the campground. There's a really nice creek that runs through. Jackson had a good time skipping some rocks in the creek. Uh, there's a, a bouncy pillow like you would see a lot of KOAs. They had a lot of fun. They always had, they'll always love those. Um, there's two pools and a lazy river and they do allow electric scooters in this campground. So it's uh, definitely a very friendly campground and a lot to do. Um, but we had a great time. I just wanted to wrap things up with that. We came back on the uh, Foothills Parkway and had a really scenic drive. It was probably the thumbnail for this video. Um, if not, I'll pop a picture up and let you see one of the little lookout spots for the really pretty drive home. It's at about three hours, a nice and easy drive. Uh, we have some more trips coming up in the next couple of months after uh, my hand heals up from surgery. So stay tuned. We appreciate you watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a good one.